Hello practicum, we have week 11 up here. I'm just going to go through a few brief things. Uh, let's get over to Monday. None of you are going to be out here on Monday, but uh, for the others that want to know, um, we have Wapaka Learning Center Group 1 that is coming out on Monday. They spent the last week with an extended day trip out at Suez, and now this is their return day, so the same kids will be coming back and doing the two lessons that they didn't get a chance to do, followed by the Lumberjack Olympics. We have Megan Espy coming out to teach, uh, we have Jessica Ciati coming out to teach, and uh, Kate and Shana and Jess and Linda will be helping out that day too. So um, that'll be a full day. We're running the same exact program on Tuesday when Hope, Amy, and Lindsay are coming out. And so your lessons, Hope Pioneers, Amy Digging Up the Past, Lindsay Cooperative Compass, and Kate will be taking care of the Native Americans and who's the other one? Oh, and early explorers and then we have the lumberjack olympics in the afternoon which is fun so be ready for those lesson preps wednesday we have st mary's school coming out this is a group of fifth and eighth graders so the eighth graders have come out here when they were fifth graders a few years ago and they bring both um, both of them out at the same time which is kind of nice although you will be working with separate groups so cedar group is the fifth grade spruce group is the eighth grade and Maria and Jesse, you're going to be doing group initiatives as a warm-up uh, before you start with their lesson. You do not need to do a lesson prep for that. You just need to come with four or five activities that you have planned for group initiatives. You will do a lesson prep for pond study and forest inventory. And Christine, you'll do a lesson prep for laws of nature. Uh, in the afternoon, we'll be helping Kate and Jenica with the Web of Life game again. And then Christine is staying on for the Lumberjack Louie program and the campfire. And Christine, this is generally a first person interpretation program you can do as much of that as you want we can t discuss that more um, in person sometime so Amy will be coming out to help with that program Thursday we'll be meeting them again in the morning uh, for because it's an overnight group and it looks like Christine will be then teaching pond power Jesse will be teaching nature journaling Marie challenge course so that's two lesson preps for you guys for next week so be prepared for that. Friday, Devin and Emily are coming out, and we have the All Saints School from Anago, fifth graders, uh, just two groups, and you guys will be doing revised lesson preps for Laws of Nature and Quarp of Compass, both lessons you guys have um, should be familiar with, so be prepared for that. Uh, weekly goal for this week is, for week 11, create transitions between each activity, including your intro transition and before your conclusion transition. So at this point, your lesson prep should be pretty smooth where you can actually fill in some transition lines and say, this is w in order to go from this activity to the next activity, how you're going to transition smoothly between those. So those we should see in all of your lesson preps. Um, drivers. For week 11, it looks like, um, Lindsay, you're going to drive on Tuesday morning. And... Marie, you're going to drive on Wednesday morning, and then Amy will drive out to help Christine for the evening program. Jesse, you'll drive on Thursday morning, and Devin, you'll drive Emily out on Friday morning. We've got a lot of other programs going on. Marie's got an evening program. Andrew's got an evening program. Christine's got an evening program, and we've got some rehearsals, so it's a busy week for the environmental education majors, but I know that's what you wanted, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm sure it'll be a great week. Let me know if you have any concerns or questions. Thank you. Thank you.